One. You have 15 messages. Mike, I can't seem to get a hold of you. Will you please call me at your earliest convenience? It's Jeff. I... You're buying stock? The market's at an all-time low. This is crazy. I met my wife on Match.com. My profile said, I am a medical student with only one eye, an awkward social manner, and $145,000 in student loans. She wrote back, you're just what I've been looking for. She meant honest. So let me be honest. The housing crisis represents the greatest financial opportunity. Of Making money is not like I thought it would be. This business kills the part of life that is essential the part that has nothing to do with business and i know you're eager to get started so let's for the past two years my insides have felt like they're eating themselves all the people i respected won't talk to me anymore except through lawyers people want an authority to tell them how to value things but they choose this authority not based on facts or results they choose it because it seems authoritative and familiar and i'm not and never have been familiar so so i've come to the sullen realization that i must close down the fund sincerely michael j burry md Michael Berry made his name betting against the housing market, and he became a bit of a celebrity when Michael Lewis featured him in his book, The Big Short. But since shutting down his hedge fund in 2008, Berry has been quiet about his investments until now. In an exclusive interview with Bloomberg, Berry says he's buying gold and land. John Ehrlichman spoke with Michael Berry and has his story. John? Yeah, somewhat simpler stuff, you might say, than credit default swaps, which he's not using these days, uh, Eric. Berry's view right now is that I don't have to talk a lot about what I'm investing in because I'm no longer running money for investors. As you said, he shut down his hedge fund. He says maybe he'll get back into the investing game for others down the road, but he's happy doing what he's doing right now, including buying farmland. Let's hear what he had to say. I believe that agriculture land, productive agricultural land with water on site, is will be very valuable in the future and i've put a good amount of money into that so i've i i'm investing in alternative investments as well as stocks but buying just buying the land not some stock tied to land. well i'm just a value guy so i i want to buy the land i want the raw land and then i'll that's the way to get it cheapest <laughs> How much of your portfolio is in land, would you say? Oh, I, I don't want to disclose that, but it's a significant amount at this point. So we can take away that while you're bearish generally on the housing market, that the guy who made this big bearish bet on housing a few years ago is now seeing value in some real estate out there. Is that what you're saying? I think there is some value in, in real estate. Yeah, I mean, you have to buy it right. and it's, it's, there's, it's not in general. That's the problem. I think that uh, there's an awful lot of people out there looking to buy <laughs> these distressed properties now. Um, and, and so you need, to, you need to find special situations. It's, it's how I've invested from the beginning. I'm, always, I've, I'm, look, I'm looking for these special situations, these unique ideas. And, and it's true in real estate, too.
Okay. Would you go long some housing stocks today after they've been crushed? Uh, I'd rather, you know, I'm in my situation, I'd rather go long um, housing itself or real estate itself. Um, you can, depending on how you structure it, you can, in the real market, you can, in the physical market, you can get some pretty good deals. And I've done some of that too. Okay. Let's talk about how some of the other players are investing these days. If you look inside John Paulson's portfolio, you will find that he's the biggest shareholder in a home builder, in Beezer Homes. Uh, his firm is also a big shareholder in a mortgage insurer, PMI. And he's not the only one. There are a lot of hedge funds that own shares in PMI. What do you think of that strategy of going along some of those housing related I had the thought when um, I started to put on the short um, that when this all plays out, well, I'll be running so much money and I'll be able to swoop in and, and buy some of these things really cheap. And uh, as it has played out, I just don't think that the recovery is going to be that robust. And so I'm not terribly interested. So, you know, Paulson's big in gold. And, um, and that's something that is, uh, is, is interesting to me and given how, my, how I see the world playing out. But other than that, um, you know, I, I, so I'm not, you know, I'm just saying that other than gold, I, I haven't really bought into any of the other theses. What do you do? Do you buy? Do you like buying? Some people like to buy the physical gold bars. Some people buy. It's, a tough, some... it's a tough one to play.